Hi, welcome to the Intervention Channel, or welcome back. My name is Steve Bruno, and today we're going to cover uh, the use of letters in an intervention as a way of making the offer of help. So uh, this is a fairly involved uh, subject, but it's one that can be easily understood, I think. So first of all, writing a letter to an addict that you will not give to him, you will read to him, during the meeting that is the offer of help, right? An intervention is not that meeting, but it often contains that meeting, which is the offer of help. Of course, at some point, you need to communicate with the addict what the offer of help is. And the best way that I have found in most cases, in many cases, uh, not all, so don't assume or jump to any conclusions that letters are automatically going to be part of your intervention. Uh, I have done hundreds of interventions and I have hundreds of different stories, of <laughs> different ways that interventions have been done. I certainly take from this from a more traditional model, but I have my own bend uh, to the way it is approached. Now, uh, many uh, people will tell you that you need to and even therapists, authorities on this subject will tell you this very counterproductive uh, uh, direction, which is that you want to tell the addict how his negative behavior is affecting you. Two things that are glaringly wrong with that approach. Number one, an addict full on addiction Right, a full, an, a, somebody with a full-on addiction, full-on alcoholism, their empathy is on empty. They don't feel for other people. They are self-focused. It's all, everything is all about them. They can have a very caring aspect and a loving aspect, an, an odd sort of caring for other people thing going on. But I'll tell you, they don't necessarily feel for other people, especially when it comes to family members. My mom, uh, for example, my mother, for example, was crying and, you know, my, my dad was, you know, frustrated. I could give a shit. I just wanted him to get it over with. I was like, what? What, what are you trying to tell me? So, number one, telling the addict how his negative behavior is affecting you, guess what? It's not about you and you don't want to make it about you. That doesn't necessarily sell tickets. It just makes the guy feel bad. Right? And the worse he feels, the more aggressive he will potentially become. So you don't want to just sit there and make the guy wrong and tell him about all of his negative behavior. I don't know who came up with that idea, but whoever it is, you know, take, take a lesson from, I'm sorry, sorry if this sounds a little condescending, but take a lesson from an addict who has a very high success rate in getting people in from an addict's viewpoint that is not the way you want. I mean, I wouldn't want somebody telling me that. I already know how my negative effect, uh, behavior is affecting people. Why do you think I use drugs? I'm trying to quash all that guilt. So to just pile up more guilt on top of it is not going to be effective. So yes, I am. I think it's important to cover what letters are not. Letters are not an opportunity to unload. They're not. So don't do it. Don't. You're just going to, you can't make it about you. You can't make it about, about uh, you know, your resentments or trying to get the addict to admit he has a problem. Just forget all that. That's, it's all counterproductive. It's all add-ons that don't need to be there. It's like extras that will grind away at your, your potential success. Uh, a, a letter or a delivery of an offer does not include resentments. It does not include things that the addict has done wrong. It does not include anything about drug addiction. I mean, there you can touch on it, but I even hesitate to say that because I'm afraid that you or one of your family members will just take this and exaggerate it and take it as, a, as an okay or an affirmative to unload on the addict. You say, well, all this drug addiction, your use of drugs, this and that, it's just gonna embarrass him unnecessarily. You don't need to do any of that. Okay, and if you do that, all you're going to do is make him tighten up. 
further. You're going to make him want to withdraw further. It's not going to open up his heart or his mind to going to a program. You're just sitting there beating him up and embarrassing him. Who wants to get beat up and embarrassed? You? You want to get beat up and embarrassed? What if you, what if you go to buy a piece of real estate and the guy embarrasses you about the crappy home you're living in now. Yeah, that home you're in now is just a piece of junk. I can't even believe you guys bought that. And the repairs, holy Christ, call a plumber. I mean, my God, how's he doing as a salesperson? Right, you probably get ready to get up and walk out, and flip him off and get in the car and speed away. As well you should, right? So why would you approach somebody else that way if you know that's not an effective way to approach somebody and you may not just be you may just not be thinking about it right now so i want you to think about this about what how likely you would be to agree to something when you're getting the crap beaten out of you by somebody that you're resentful or you're hostile toward anyway somebody you're not honest with anyway so letters are not an opportunity to unload they are not, they should not contain what the addict is doing wrong. They should not contain any sort of past grudges or any resentments or look at what you did to your uncle. They should not contain anything about look what you did to me, look what you did to him, look what you're doing to your sister, that kind of a thing. Those things, I'm not talking about, about evicting those ideas. I'm talking about when you're making the offer is not the time to do this, to unload and make the attic wrong. Okay, enough said. Uh, this is gonna be in a couple parts. So part two is coming up. Uh, visit stevebruno.com if you'd like to ask me questions directly. Uh, my number, there's a contact form there, it's all there. Uh, and then uh, if you'd like for everybody to see the answer, yeah, please ask your question below. Everybody who's here is looking for answers, so I can answer it in the, uh, the comments section. Uh, there's going to be uh, an end screen coming up here. It'll say thank you for watching. There'll be a subscribe button. Uh, click on that, especially if you're a professional, you want to click on that. Um, if you are a family member looking for help for a loved one, uh, please uh, click on the next button and you'll be able to uh, hopefully, you know, uh, watch this. There's going to be a couple of videos on the use of letters and hopefully you'll be able to use the letters successfully. I wrote a book called More Than Hope. It's available on Amazon and Kindle and there is a whole section in there on the use of letters. There are sample letters uh, there. Uh, I, I can't show you a sample letter on a YouTube video. Uh, I wish I could, but, uh, you know, buy the book more than hope and uh, you can see them there and uh, that's it so moving on to part two click on part two and i'll see you or you'll see me in part two thank you for visiting the intervention channel i'm steve bruno thanks for watching